Happy welcome people. My name is Ben. We haven't seen each other for a long time. Today I will recover data out of this logic board. It's an iPhone XR board which was in a Rasenmäher. I don't know what this is called in English. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't do a video on English for a long time. So anyway, this one is completely broken. Two halves. We need data. I already prepared a logic board on the CNC for the iPhone XR because the iPhone XR board um, is relatively heat sensitive. It takes much heat on preparing and um, I don't want to, to risk any things like renewing the power, main, uh, power management IC or whatever. So I prepared on the CNC, but I did another XR swap yesterday and actually I just grabbing data out of this board. So I want to do the following. We now just take off the CPU here, we peel off the Logic EEPROM, we peel off the NAND flash storage, we rework that, then we have a look if the phone is already done um, with uh, grabbing data. If not, we just do a shortcut and we will go on after data out of this device are saved. We are at 20% now. It tells us about one hour. So perhaps we are a little faster. We just directly go on. Happy to be back with English videos. Why I was away such a long time. It's just we have crazy, 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 crazy um, much work. And um, we just built our new channel in German actually. And um, for us, this is a really important thing, but I didn't forget you. I got many, many messages on Instagram and on Facebook. When will you do a new video in, in, in English? Here it is, iPhone XR full board swap or board swap for data recovery, not full because I won't swap the baseband circuit because it's only about data getting on the heat system, my JBC and my solder machine and let's get started we got directly go to the microscope cam so and while i'm doing this video i need to do some TikTok um for our german TikTok. so und jetzt nehmen wir zuerst mal den nand flash speicher hier runter Schau mir das später an, ich bin gerade noch in dem Video, okay? So, let's directly go with applying some heat and taking out this beautiful 128 GB NAND storage chip. As you see, the XR logic board always takes a lot of heat and that's why I love to prepare these boards with the CNC. Less risk for any shorts on the PMIC and whatever. So we got out the net, that's pretty cool. And now we need to take out the CPU. So let's do it. Und nun geht's an die CPU, das Gehirn aus unserem Gerät und im Nachgang noch das Logic EEPROM, das sitzt hier unten. So. Let's peel out this beautiful 812 CPU. Getting some place here. I 
And as you see, it really takes a lot of heat, this board. It's like always on these XR boards. Similar to the SE1. Takes a lot of heat too. And we don't want to risk to rip any pads. So we need to wait until we can lift. Now we can lift without any issues and as you see this looks pretty good. So we got it out and the Logic EEPROM I will transfer directly after we are done with the rest so I don't have any risk to lose it. Our data dumping process is already at 30% so let's hope it will run fast. So now we just do the following. Alexa, Absaugung an. Okay. So now we just remove the clue around the CPU. Hope you can see everything. always my way to act removing the clue okay after that <coughs> it's about getting in some solder direct directly onto the CPU oh what about that some flux before And solar iron. And some paste would be fine. Let us get a bowl of solder onto our solder iron. And let's get some solder directly onto the CPU. Add low melt. One hundred thirty eight degrees. Done. So let me take let me take something. Now we need to clean the CPU. We can do it by preheat, we can do it by hot air, whatever. We can do it with a solder iron and heat. But in this case, we just start like that and see how strong the clue is. Okay, next part, we always go in steps. And you see I don't use much heat.
Turn one time. And you see the solder doesn't melt, even if we have low melt solder. So you see I don't use much heat, because I don't want to overheat the CPU. Takes more time for getting out the clue, yes. But it's a safer working method, okay? So, one time cleaning between. It's always important to get a nice and clean look. Okay, next step, cleaning again. Getting away all this glue. And think we have time because we have to, work, to wait until my done board is ready. Because I just crap data out of another case which was the same thing as here so give me a comment if you, it's in your shop it's often like you don't see a device for a long long time it's an old device you didn't see an iPhone XR board swap for a long time and then on two days two different cases so it's mostly like here some weeks ago it was the same with the iPhone SE1 2016 version. So, didn't see for months, for a really long time. And then, two cases on two different days. Great, now again cleaning with the brush and you see we have a progress. Here it's from going in with the two. Could be a little softer, but pretty okay. It's a data recovery process. So, and now we just add some flux. After the flux, we add some solder again. Pretty okay. Then we just take the wick. Here at the side, we have one part which isn't perfect. But I will get that with no issues at all. We don't need to get away the whole solder, I just want to do, do it at the side I had this scratch, but now I do it in the whole way, no problem at all. Then we just cover This pad, reball the CPU, and we should be done.
This looks nice, I think. Let me just do it like that with the CPU. You see it's pretty clean. Good morning, David. Servus. So now just taking away some blue rests here and here to make it complete completely clean and perfect. Okay. So normally we don't have issues like that at coming in. It took really a lot of heat the board. Even if it's even it was only a half of a board, but pretty okay. So now I just covered that. It's no problem, it's just a crown. Time here and one time here. A huh? little bit too much here. My wife is calling. Yeah. Yeah, in a second. David, kannst du die Hunde am Fenster reinlassen? wife is just calling we live on the top of the company and she goes to the supermarket and n wants to give me the the dogs here so no problem so now we just covered that and I use a UV lamp to try the UV clue the UV solder mask normally I don't need to do that really but in this case I was going in and I switched my tool because my good old tool after some years was broken and I used something to scratch it down to make it thinner but I have to to make it um, even thinner too so actually we, we are at 40% for dumping data we will now reboil the CPU preparing the NAND and then see if we already can go on or if we need to do a break okay this looks pretty pretty good in this way yeah it's okay it won't do anything with our data all is fine okay clean the CPU in a good way first video after a long time and not even perfect because on damage damaging this pad but no problem I have to go to my daughter give me a second My little daughter wanted to say goodbye. She is going shopping with mom. Okay, let's go on. Cleaning the clue. That's if you have family business, it's just completely normal. Kids are often in the company and helping to serve customers, whatever. My brother David is working again here doing a good job so now we just clean up the net looks better than the CPU yeah but the CPU in in general was was okay but normally we don't do damages like that so we now have to reboil these two parts. So I just need a 
need to clean up the stencil. I used it yesterday in the evening for swapping the XR. You can see that on social media. So, and now we just have to reboil that beauty. So. Let me see where where yeah here. Here I have my tool for these jobs. Okay. Just getting some paste. So I think even if you're the best technician, you can lose a pad at a time. But if you do it and it's important, you need to rebuild that. And that's the pretty important thing. If something is going wrong, you need to have a way for correction. So, because data of your customer are just really, really important. Okay, we got the solder paste in. Here, at this point, we needed to add a little amount of solder paste. And now, we just need to re -ball. Okay, adding some flux and reflow. And after that we can just reboil the NAND fast, but I don't think that data are completely extracted out of the board we need for finishing this job. If you want to see how I prepare a board on the CNC in one of the next videos, just hit me up and we will find a way for that. So, great. Let me see, this has been gone away, that's completely okay. Add some flux here. Holding the CPU. <coughs> Completely okay, I think. Okay, done. Just added some flux. It's completely prepared. And we need to prepare the NAND. Like this. Like this and just give it a reflow. Just some hot air. And we are done. We just add some flux. like this and we are done 
now it's just about lifting out this logic EEPROM but I will do that after the other board is ready we are at 20 uh, at 52 percent right now just show it to you um, here like that uh, give me a, so I need to see you can see it so now we just need to do one break here so we wait until this board is done and then I will be back again so the data dump is done I just need to take out the board now which we can use for the swap now I already took off the logic EEPROM and got it down to the other parts without having fear to lose it so now we just take off the NAND here Come on, baby. Like you see, the XR board takes a lot of heat. So, done. Just need to clean the board by using some wick. Temperatures right. I just thought it's not okay, but yeah, it's pretty good. Turn. Done. Now we just add the NAND here. Done. Now we just need to remove the CPU. Done. And let us start by just taking out the logic EEPROM here. Done. Take the ROM. Okay, not enough power. Then we do it like that. Okay. Let's see where we have A1. A1 this side up. Plug it down. Done. Now let's remove the solder and sit down the CPU. It's 
like always you have to just to work speed up a little bit because we have a lot of other cases which need to be done and each video here on YouTube is a little bit of work but it's totally okay I love to do this for you guys here is our Hydra by the way sitting directly next to the CPU bad position for charging is issues caused by Hydra, but at this series normally you don't get issues with Hydra. That's the good news. And it's an old generation, so I don't know many people who use an iPhone XR nowadays. But sometimes, like you see, there are people. And they even need their data. Okay, I even need their data, like always. People don't activate their iCloud or don't upgrade iCloud to a higher space. And then they need data in these cases. Okay, we just let me see. We are at the XR. We just lost this resistor again, and now I want to do it like like that. What about here? Can we get? If we need the same value, but I know about the values here. So let us. Get this one. Down here, pretty okay. Now everything is clean. Do we need some things which are not okay so should be fine and let's get this down baby Done. Let's see if we can get a boot here. So we just switch to the top cam. We need housing and we need the board. So we just add the board here. And just connect everything in a good way. Need to take a USB cable, plug it in into the right position and let's wait if we can see something or not. <laughs> Boom! We have an Apple and that's pretty fine. I don't know for personal images in the background. iPhone XR swap by the way I don't know how much time we spent on because um, I only see the, the length of the second part now because I needed to wait until the data dump process for the board is ready so 
just let it start and I will see for personal background image and yeah we have personal background image touch is working and you see we got data access that's the way how we work here at rescue with a CNC prepared logic board for an iPhone XR I hope you enjoyed the video it was once after a long time if you give me some comments some likes some whatever I'm pretty happy to see this and I will do a new video for you no problem at all have a nice day and we see us with the next one US Ben from Rescue.